Urban Dictionary defines a battle station as a term referring to a desktop computer setup. Includes a tower, monitor, mouse, keyboard, mouse pad if applicable, audio playback and recording devices if applicable, and even wires and cables. I mean, it also refers to it as an application on Facebook. Their boards are unmoderated and the posters often leave their own forum because of the crappy gameplay value and harass other applications for being better than them. But, uh, you know, let's let's focus on the first term. Man, battle, station. Man, battle, station. Nine, one, battle stations are your home turf. If you don't have one, that's fine and all, but can you really call yourself a gamer without a place to game? All of us have a reasonable place to do our epic battles and your ninth playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. We all need a place to fight. And today I'll be taking a look at some horrifying battlegrounds. We'll be rating and reviewing battle stations that have haunted and will continue to haunt the internet. So if you see a familiar image or two, don't be surprised. I'll also be looking at some of your battle stations sent to me on my Twitter at Brandaniel H. In between the horrifying ones to give us a bit of a break in between the madness. To start though, I'd like to post what I would consider preferable as a battle station. To cement a 10 rating or a 9 rating early so that you have an idea of what I consider tasteful. Just a heads up, I'm a little tacky, so this may not be what you like or prefer. Our control or test battle station is nice, clean, organized, blue, and, you know, pretty. You know, I, I probably give this a 9 just with my eyes. I mean, why a 9, you ask? Why, why not a, a 10 since this is supposed to be your perfect battle station, you ask, huffing and puffing and blowing me down with the sheer weight of your facts and logic? Well, I mean, it would be a 10, if not for a few things. Remove and burn the Funko Pops, delete the Razer headset, Razer speakers, and Razer mouse. All in all, though, besides it, it's a well-organized and comfy. I like how cluttered and uncluttered it is all at once. A nice contrast between the minimal and the maximal, if you will. So yeah, I'll give it a 9. Let's get on with our first awful battle station, and I gotta say, what kind of evil god would allow gaming to exist in a place that is so horrifying? Not only is the chair worn completely away from the raw power of whoever sat their ass there, the wall has pushed out a Minecraft block to take even more space away from the desk owner. I would say that this is probably some old dungeon photo taken right out of the early 2000s as well, but I have to wonder if that red thing sitting on the desk is some kind of summer sausage or a Beats pill. If that's a Beats pill, then this image had to have been taken at least sometime around or after 2012, which just makes me wonder even more. Also pretty sure that it's a revolver or some kind of gun there, and now I'm thinking that this is less for gaming and more a check-in station for a serial killer. One. This is our first battle station sent to me on Twitter by at Archduke Dust. Simple wooden desk and a simple wooden chair. I'm gonna be honest here, and I hope you won't be mad at a simple gamer such as I. I have some questions. Why is one of your speakers sideways and also still hidden behind a monitor? Why just have your cables all up in your entire business and not keep your audio mixer or modem down below instead of taking up some priority desk space? I may not be a master of cable management, but this is like you need some sort of divine intervention to tell you that you can afford to not have all of that whole thing just on your desk. Props to your choice in mic and mouse, though. 502 is a great mouse, and I love how heavy it is when you have all the weights in there. That mouse can kill a man. Wipe off your monitor, though, and make some room for that speaker to breathe. 4. Real gamers take the game into the sky like a real gamer would! I'm assuming that this was destroyed immediately after taking the picture. Don't build without a case. And for the love of all that is holy, don't, please, God, don't hang your parts with what looks like string. Is that string? Dear God. Cool little vintage TV set, though. Two. Next on the Twitter submissions is from at Bibbokins. Now, Bibbo is a friend of mine, so I'm going to use my internet power to absolutely destroy him here. Furpy, I'm glad you're not using a PlayStation eye toy as a webcam anymore, and it looks like you've finally leveled up. It's a simple, clean build, and I can't poke too many holes in it except for the monitor sitting on your speaker for some reason, and the fact that your Peter Griffin figure isn't the main attraction. You're gonna have to work on that, but I like the custom keycaps on your funny little Corsair, and once again, a great choice in mice. I would give this an 8, but since you're a friend, I'm gonna give it a 7. Wow. A tale as old as time. An image that I have to censor slightly. What, what can I say? 
Epic figure collection, my dude. I mean, could do with a little bit of cleaning. I'm not gonna epically own you for owning anime figures. I will, however, say that you could probably do with a bit of work on all of the cups just lying around. And if you have the money to buy so many figures, maybe buy some, I don't know, like some shoji panels or, or some, some nice, like, wallpaper to hide the horrifying and depressing walls and graffiti. Also, if you can drop hundreds on some figures, you could probably drop a hundo on a new chair. Now, this is an image that has made the rounds for quite some time, and really, the inspiration for making this whole video, I believe you can do better. And this could be much, much less awful if you put a little bit of work into it. Three. This battle station is from, uh, at Brendan Hubert one on Twitter. Just, um, you know, my first and last name are like three letters away from this name, and that scares me a little bit. Is this me from a universe where I like ace combat? Funny planes. You know, I like some parts of this setup. It's clean clutter. You get a cool gas mask, some neat books, and a mounted second monitor. Now, my biggest criticism is that your sound foam might not be doing much. It's probably doing some of its job. But if you're speaking into your mic right into the cavity that's there in your desk, you're going to get some echo no matter what you do. Not gonna make fun of you for owning Blue Yeti. I, I owned a Blue Yeti for years. But uh, get some sound foam in there or record away from the cavity. Either way, you're gonna get a 7 from me, Evil Brent. The idea of gaming in a room full of moisture is horrifying to me. I mean, I get having to shit where you game so that you can put 100% of your effort into it, but any electronics in a bathroom, be it a TV or a speaker, just make my, make my skeleton cringe. This setup is interesting for sure. It has this modular feel to it and can probably be easily moved, but I you shouldn't shit where you game. I'm gonna have to put my foot down here, put my foot right in the toilet. Don't shit where you game. Three. At Demigoat77, I like your keys and your standing desk. Gotta get that juice going while gaming. I get that. I will say that the station itself is simple, but that's a horrid amount of boxes. I'm guessing a study and a storage room. All in all, not too much to say about this one, really. You gotta smack those boxes of knickknacks right at the door and blast that room with some funky LED lights. Five. Oh, this guy's taking the whole murder a robot and gut him right on your desk approach to cord management. Gonna be honest with you, bud. Just burn everything and start from scratch. If you just learn to let go, then you'll find yourself a little happier. I mean, we're all guilty of a little clutter on our desks every once in a while. A can of soda or two, but man, this is, uh, this, this, this might kill Marie Kondo. Two. This one's from F-E-G-G -G Taco, or, you know, Fake Taco on Twitter. Really just a simple setup, but here's some personal advice. Get rid of that Scarlet Solo. It only ever brought me pain, and you'll be better off with a different mixer for your audio in the long run. Honestly, this is just me dishing out advice, but also get a mic arm or a small mic stand if you don't already have one. Do you just hold the mic in one hand and game with the other? I see that guitar pick. Sell your acoustic instrument for a mic stand. Four. You know, points for ingenuity. You broke half the screen and found a way to make it work. Also not horribly covered in wires or garbage. Kind of a screen half full, half empty kind of situation. I won't be too mean. Four. From GoFinger Uranus, I can't see anything. I'm glad you're repping pain hole. Thank you for that. It's not going to get you any extra points. Clean up those cables. There are cables literally covering up one of your monitors. What are you doing? Do you game like this? Is this how you prefer to exist? Do you game in this pit of snakes? This den of villainy? I'm afraid that the lights are going to come on and the walls are made of flesh and covered in eyes. Two. What really gets me about this one, aside from the trash and the two computer towers stacked on top of each other, is the lamp. Your eyes in this image are perfectly drawn to the lamp, and then you register the mess surrounding it. I mean, I would say you could just throw stuff away, but I've lived with a hoarder before, and I know. I know how hard it can be to just get rid of garbage. I would give some harsh criticism, but this image looks aged enough that this battle station probably went up in flames a long time ago. One. Next submitted one from Kinsley Finch on Twitter, and I gotta say, my guy, major props. You have a good keyboard, some good spacing, and a great mic arm, and a horrifying deer statue that's looking directly into my eyes. Overall, though, yeah, it's all right. This is six. Yeah, okay. Just add a toilet under there, and you're living in the Matrix. Biggest fear of my life right there. What happens when that CRT monitor comes crashing down 
and smashes you in the dick. Better yet, what happens when your sheer weight brings the whole bed frame down and those pipes decapitate you like a scene from Final Destination? I don't want to live my life in fear. That's not a battle station. It's a rolling death machine. Or concept art for a terrible twisted metal character. One. Last, but certainly not least, is my battle station. The place wherein I game. Gotta say, Brendan, not very epic. I mean, it's clean and simple, but really, all you've got is the basics down. And what you really need are some sick LEDs and maybe, you know, five more monitors? Matter of fact, why not just get the 65-inch monitor that HP is selling and really, you know, step up your game? In fact, why not just replace your entire office with monitors and have a rotating desk so you can see everything all the time? You really need to step it up, man. You're on YouTube, for God's sakes. Where's the wall of retro games or the funny props? Where's the sponsorship logo on the free Razer gear? Really not pulling your weight, Brendan. You're really just losing your edge. Zero out of ten. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things. And uh, did I make fun of your battle station? Do you want me to make fun of your battle station? Send it to me on Twitter. And I probably won't make fun of it. I mean, I mean that's up to you. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that's an option. If you want to watch more Burn Daniel videos, that's, you know, also a thing that you can do. I also have a gaming channel called Painhole and uh, a Patreon because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dirty boy. If you want to follow me on Twitch, that's also an option. All that stuff's going to be either on the end screen here or in the description below. You can check all that stuff out, all the, all the stuff that YouTubers say. I'm going to go now. Clean up some of these uh, Coke cans. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have Coke cans everywhere. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, bye-bye.